I want to head towards the sun, if at all possible, because that's generally in the direction of home. And I want to stay in this warmer climate, but not too far from our mountain, which I don't have a name for yet. Wow, more, more water coming inland. This is really nice. This is... I think this is almost enclosed enough to be a lake. And this is... Look at the huge tree. That is absolutely beautiful. Why couldn't I have spawned right there? Right there on the shore of that lake. Imagine how beautiful it would have been. To look around and have this be the first thing I ever saw in Minecraft. This nice lake with the tree next to it. Is it closed in enough from the ocean? I'm going to call it a lake. Wow. This is the Great Oak Lake. This is awesome. absolutely awesome. Wow, I am... I'm considering retiring and just living here. <laughs> this is beautiful! Wow! Dirt soil, too. Not a sandy bottom lake. And it is totally enclosed. It's a legitimate lake. Very nice. I am... Oh, man. Look at this. Am I just being a dork for thinking that this is so neat, but... Holy moly, this is... Well, I just confirmed it. I said, holy moly, I'm officially a dork. Alright, let's use the bow to <laughs> bash these out of the way. I would, use, I would just use my bare fist, but I don't have a bare fist equipped and I need my hot bees. Yeah, imagine if this had been where I spawned. Just right here. This is the first thing you see when you start playing. And it's like, well, I know where I'm building my house. Right there. And it looks like this may provide us the cave that we need as well. Alright, cartographer, time to mark this place. I'm going to do a larger cross to make it really easy to find when I finally come back here. So I do intend to return here someday. This is definitely my retirement home. Oh, it stops just with coal. What a letdown. Alright, well, I torchified that cave, so I suppose it's time to keep moving and find our cave of destiny. Really need some more heavy supplies like gold and diamond. That's why we're here. That was interesting. Let's look at that. Hmm. Just a hole in the ground. Happens to go right past a tree. It's a neat little area. Oh, get out of my face. Is that ice over there? Look at this. Look at the way the terrain is spawning. That's a really... Uh, just gross, but neat at the same time. Bloop. Yeah, another sandy, or not a sandy bottom, another soil bottom lake. And every time I say soil bottom, I think of a dirty diaper. <laughs> this is not the right expression to use to describe a lake with dirt on the bottom. That is well and truly ice, from what I can tell. And I am absolutely astounded. This is not a tundra biome. There should not be ice here. Yeah, that's ice. What the heck? Did this one chunk spawn, spawn as tundra? Is the weather that? Well, if it's tundra, why isn't there snow? That is really weird. I have to say, I'm a bit confused why wow, there's just some random ice here. Oh, I doubt there's any answers to be found, so we'll keep moving. Another lake. Huh. This one half sand, half dirt. This is a neat area, this lake country. The, the grass looks different here, too. Maybe it's just that I'm not used to this texture, but whoa. I'm used to my texture back and not the default, but there's still that grass over there. It looks like a different color than the grass where I'm, where I'm from. It looks like brighter, a brighter green. I wonder if the grass in the temperate areas spawns a brighter color than the grass in the arctic areas. It certainly seems to. Alright, pig, you turn into food. Sorry, dude. You too, cow, you're becoming leather. Prepare to be clothes. Looks like it's time to start sailing again. Haven't seen any clay on this journey. That surprises me. I was actually hoping to bump into some. It's one of the resources I'm looking to find. I've used up some of my brick and I'm looking to replace it. But I haven't seen any. Lose a sandbar ahead of. Better go around. I'm interested in beaching the boat. Oh, looks like I'm gonna have to. Leave it ice. Okay, well then. Guess it's time to just walk. It wasn't a very long sail. 
It's a large mountain over there I'm going to climb. That'll give us a good view of the surrounding area. Alright, here we are at the top of the mountain. Let's see what there is to see. Load, landscape, load. Oh, wow. Whoa, look at that. I think we may, we may have seen that on our way to the uh, final adventure. Part 39, when I finished off the original Minecraft series. And if any of you are wondering, this isn't going to be a regular thing again. I'm not starting the series up or anything, I'm just doing a couple episodes because I'm at home and I have some free time and I feel like it, honestly. That's what, that's how often Minecraft is going to update nowadays. As often as I feel like, and honestly, once I get my new PC, which unfortunately is looking like it's going to be spring break, I'm going to hopefully start running a server for you guys, and you'll see me be much more active on Minecraft starting around March, middle of March. But until then, you're not going to see much of it. It's hard. It's hard to render. It's hard to upload, and it's impossible to run a server on my current laptop. So, at least I think it is. We'll have to look into it. But like I say, don't be looking for the server to be up until around mid-March. I'm sorry, guys. That's what it's looking like right now. I'm going to try to get it sooner than that if it's at all possible. But at this point, I don't think it is. Look at this. Look at this. This is a neat area. Not sure if I want to explore this at night, though. Well, I gotta get down there one way or the other now. It's getting dark. I think I'm gonna take out an area with some torches. I actually spent a night on the boat because there were no enemies to worry about that far out to sea. Now it looks like I'm just gonna have to run. Keep moving across an open landscape, hopefully. They won't be able to hit me. The only thing I have to worry about is spiders catching up to me. area over there still lit. That must be west, I suppose. Whoa, y'all are close. It looks like there's a cave here. This might be the cave I've been looking for. Say I drop in. How about it? Well, this would be a good place to sit through the night, I suppose. Couldn't hurt to explore a little more. Oh, hello. Get out of the right weapon now. Get out of my face. So a lot of this cave is exposed to the open air. Here we go. This is a very good start to what could be a very nice cave. Let's play cautiously now. If I die, it's a long spawn home. Whoa, I was walking right on the edge of a big pit. Didn't even realize it. It's a lot of stone and very little dirt in this cave. <laughs> okay, that one's done. Oh, I haven't been following my torch rule. Darn. Well, I'm close enough to the exit. That's not a problem here, but still. As we go deeper in, I'll have to start obeying that if I want to have a system going. Because I'll have to, have to head down there eventually. Cave torches always point to the exit. Nothing here. Or is there? I managed to pick up three feathers somewhere, so that's 12 more shots on the bow. I also have enough leather to make myself some new armor. I'm going to start with a hat. And then I'm also going to replace the piece that makes the most health difference, which is the chest piece. So we'll take both of those. And I'm going to have to just trash the other two. I might make a chest here. Yeah, I think I will. Having a hard time finding this guy. So we'll just have to just see what I can do. I'm not finding much of anything here in terms of zombies, so I suppose I'll have to just go back through the cave the way we have came. There was a path down here we didn't explore. And that's our next direction. Being very cautious. Not at that end. Lots of coal here if I'm inclined to get it, but that's about it. Ah, oh, disappointing. See, I'm hoping to find an open cave. I can dig a mine shaft right next to my house if I want, if I want to look for diamond and red dust and that sort of thing, but if 
I'm looking for just general resources like iron and that sort of thing, it's best to look in caves. I just having a very hard time finding a good one. We'll keep looking. I'm going to grab this coal and meet you guys outside the cave. Hopefully it'll be daytime. Holy crap, there's more to this cave. I thought I heard a zombie. I was looking around and found that area up there. Now I'm a bit nervous because he's right above me the whole time and didn't come down. Huh. I thought I'd have to dig a little staircase and get myself up there. Hello. Hear that? It's the sound of a zombie taking damage. From what? The mobs never attack each other. He's being hurt by some sort of obstacle, like lava or a long fall. Where was he? Yeah, it's daytime. Good news, good news. Have you heard the good news? <laughs> no, get off my porch. Alright, where are we going now? More caves around, but... It looks like a zombie died right there. Maybe that's what I was hearing, him burning up in the sunlight. Oh, hello, hello. Alright, you startled me there, zombie. But that's the last time you get to drop on me. Get out of my face. Hiding in these caves to stay alive. How dastardly. Alright, well, there's a cave up there I want to look in, at least. And then I suppose... Ooh, hello. Don't fall in a hole. We'll head home. Nothing there. Okay, where's the sun? That way, right? No. Oh god, I totally lost track of which way I'm going. Shoot. No, I'm going this way. Yeah, that's right. Okay, good. We're heading the right way. Towards the rising sun. Looks like I stayed in that cave till almost noon, too, so we won't have as long to go before. Oh, can't say no to this. Let's make a quick exit for ourselves, yeah? Down and fast. That's exactly what I'm looking for. This could go all the way to the bedrock. It's dark in there. Got to be careful. Let's make a nice staircase so we can get back up. What is that? There's more on this level. I gotta get better with this mouse wheel, or I'm not gonna be able to get those torches as fast as I need to get them. Alright. That's it. Not a whole lot on that end. Dig down here. Not run underneath yourself. We learned that lesson a long time ago. Follow your rules, Poncho. Follow your own rules. <coughs> Fall damage, coal, and iron. Not a bad find. Look, not a bad find at all. Quite a deep cave. <laughs> That's what he said. Ugh. Wow, that goes way down. Basically straight down, too. I guess we'll collect the resources here at the top first. Put them in a chest with a nice tall pole outside. Cause I'm not interested in going down in that cave and dying and losing everything. I should be able to find my way back here. I believe this is on the route to the final adventure. And that path I know moderately well, so... I think I can find my way home from here.